G'day guys, Travis here again, the kettlebell guy, to share with you another quick kettlebell lesson for tonight. Early in the week, we looked at um, kettlebell hinging and how to develop that hinge pattern for clients. So just to go over a couple of things, we had um, the position of fingers on the hips, pushing the hips backwards. So fingers on the hips, pushing the hips backwards to get that neutral spine, that hinge, that catches position again here. All right, we had the broomstick, all right, and we also had the to the wall technique. So there are a couple of the techniques we use to try and develop a strong hinge pattern. And like I mentioned, a hinge pattern is really vital for many, many movements uh, outside of kettlebell training, but um, like, you know, your deadlifts and stuff like that. But also with your kettlebells, super vital for the main one, which is the swings, and then also going into things like snatches and cleans. Now, on top of that, you can also use the hinge pattern to deadlift with the kettlebells. And so that's what I'm going to share with you tonight, are a few of our deadlifting options, all right? So I've got two kettlebells, but we'll start with one. Now the first one, the most simple one, straight down the middle, the Romanian deadlift, all right? So straight down the middle, hinge, again, getting in that hinge position, and then up, clench the bum at the top. Okay, now at the top, you want to think about, um, in this position, your, your glutes are clenched, and at the same time, your, your core is switched on. So almost like someone's going to punch you in the, in the backside, and simultaneously punch you in the stomach as well. So you want to be nice and tight there. Again, you're folding backwards, setting that uh, backside backwards, coming down to between the feet, basically, and then back up. Now, depending on your clients, they may not have that full range of motion. So for your clients, their range of motion may only be to there. Because that's where their hamstrings tell them to stop. Okay? But again, from the side, bending a bit down. And up. Alright? A couple of things you want to make sure you pay attention. You're not bending that way, because that straight away puts a lot of pressure on your lower back. The kettlebell is going straight down that midline of the body which is why it's important to get that backside back, all right? That's our Romanian deadlift variation. Now, to make that harder, again, you can add two kettlebells. This one, I actually prefer to go on the outside of the feet. So you're standing on the outside. Again, same thing. Hips back, hands on the kettlebells, and up. Everything's the same. Now with the head, you don't want to be looking up, you want to be looking um, more or less neutral with your neck. So your neck, you don't want to be up this way, and you also don't want to be down with the chin on the, chin on the chest, alright? So that's the same thing, but that's with the double uh, kettlebell there. From here, there's a few extra variations, okay? We can move into a single leg work. So, you can go single leg with one bell. So with this one, I actually prefer to start from the top. Again, it's what suits you, but I like to go opposite, uh, opposite bell to leg, and you're going back, and up. Going down to about the big toe, and then up. What's important here is that your clients try and keep their hips as square as possible. So you quite often find, I'll go this way, like that. All right, so side on. You can do it with two hands on. And if they need, actually have that back leg as a bit of balance. So there's your single leg variation with one bell. You can do the same thing again using two kettlebells. So That's a single leg variation using double kettlebells. 
Now, the last one we've got is uh, a walking variation. So this is a new one for me and I really enjoy this one. I learned this one last week at Phylex and a really cool variation. So it's kind of a mix between the single leg work, okay, and a little bit of double leg work. So we're here, it's a small step, taking most of the weight on that front foot, you're down and up. Small step. So you basically have a bit of a micro bend in the knee, so your foot's not, your knee's not locked. Small bend and up. We do that from side on. And again, most of the weight is on that front foot. That's the walking variation. I believe that's why my hamstrings have been sore for about four days. So, don't forget, a lot of this stuff, all of this stuff in our kettlebell course, kettlebell level one and two, and we're going to be here uh, sharing kettlebell techniques on the Monday and Thursday nights at around about 20 to eight. So make sure to tune in. If you've got any questions, post them, try and answer them for any, um, any new movements you want to look at. Again, post them up and I'll try and go through some movements and some technique tips. Thanks for tuning in, guys. That's a kettlebell show for tonight. Cheers. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and visit our website, fitnesseducationonline.com.au, to get more information on our professional development courses for personal trainers. See you in the next video.